Good evening. Hello, good evening, guys. How are you today? Hello, Marcus. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Jessica. Hi, Jaime. Hi, Kenny. Welcome. Thank you, Oswin. Thank you for letting us know. Okay. Desde ayer estamos sin, sin internet en estas. Sí, así lo es. Zona, toda la zona está sin internet. Y ahorita voy a conectarme con datos, pero no sé si las dos horas. Entiendo, Osby, muchas gracias por estar pendiente. Que lo siento saber, espero que se mejore el internet. Y por todo eso de las lluvias es que no están con internet. Sí, desde ayer, que no sé si a algunos árboles botaron líneas primarias de, de conectividad de claro, entonces todo lo que es esta zona está sin internet. Ay, en serio. Sí. ¿Y no ha reportado? Sí, ya todo el mundo reportó, pero como se Me están imagino. reparando, prácticamente están reparando varios lugares. Híjole, en uh -huh. serio. Bueno, muchas gracias, Oswin, por su esfuerzo de conectarse. Esperemos que no, no dure un poco más de tiempo. Y si le van a preguntar, pues diga que es por el internet, ¿verdad? Ok. Por la situación que hemos estado pasando. Ok, de acuerdo. Pero igual no se preocupe, usted no, no falta clases, así que no, no le va a perjudicar mucho, ¿verdad? Esperemos que se restablezca lo más pronto posible estos días para que ya siga en las clases normal, ¿verdad? Así es. Gracias. Gracias a usted, dos bien. Bueno, guys, thank you very much. How are you today? Fine. Hi, Julio. Hi, Lizette. Hi, Mabel. Hi, How teacher. are you? Fine, thank you. Hi, teacher. Fine. Thank you. What about Hi, good you? Good evening. And you? Good evening. Yes, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking me. Thank you. I believe we will start uh, right now. There are just a few of you today, right? Hi, uh, Marielos. How are you? Hello.
Ok, guys. Quisiera preguntarle si todo bien con, su, con, con las tareas. Si pudieron hacerla, no tuvieron ningún inconveniente, guys. I'm done. Todo good. Ok. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mr. Ramos. Good evening, Daniel. How are you today? I'm fine. Great. What about you? Yes, I'm doing awesome. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. <laughs> Do we have listeners today? No, right? Yes, me, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, yes, thank you, Mabel. Um, I'm just reading the, all the messages right now. And I could see your okay, message. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, so. Today, uh, we will continue with, uh, I mean, talking about the simple past, all right? We were talking about the verb to be in past, and today we will go ahead and talk about the simple past in general, all right? Not only about the verb to be, but also about the simple past. Um, let me get a second, and I will share the screen so we can start working on that. We can uh, start... Um, talking about the uh, simple past in general, okay? So let me get a second, so I will share the screen to you. Just one moment. Okay. Okay, guys, so finally, um. I believe there is something wrong here. Let me stop sharing. This is not the one. Yes, I got the one here. One moment. Sorry guys. Okay, I got I got it here. All right. Uh this is the right one. So, um today we will continue talking about how to use a simple past, all right? Not only with the verb to be, but in general. So we will uh, talk about how to use the simple past, especially the yes, no questions that we were talking about before, okay? So this is the class 16. I just have this little review about the verb to be before to start with the other verbs, okay? Uh, just remember, this is the structure for the was and were, which is the past of verb to be. All right, we have the affirmative. You already know how to make the affirmative form. Okay, you know that we have I, she, he, and it with was. All right, and we, you, and they with were. All right, in the affirmative form, you have just one verb. And the one verb is was and were, that's it. In the negative form, you can do it either with was not, or either you can make it with wasn't, which is the contracted form of was, not. Um, if you're talking about plural form, then you the, the um, contracted form is weren't, okay, in negative. You weren't late, uh, they weren't late, we weren't late, and the no contracted form is were not, okay? So... 
This is pretty much the negative form. Let's repeat after me. I wasn't sad. I wasn't sad. He wasn't thirsty. She wasn't thirsty. Ah, uh, sorry. He wasn't thirsty. He wasn't thirsty. He wasn't thirsty. 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 She wasn't a teacher. She wasn't a teacher. She wasn't small. She wasn't small. Very good. Uh, let's talk about the plural form. We weren't late. We weren't late. We weren't late. You weren't at home. You weren't at home. They weren't noisy. They, they weren't noisy. noisy. Very good. Okay, so in the affirmative form, uh, sorry, in the yes, no question, remember at the beginning we put the auxiliary wasn't work. And we say, were they happy? Was she rich? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Okay? Yes, no question. We put the were and was at the beginning. There's no other verb other than were or what. Okay? Muy importante, guys. No hay otro verbo acá. Solo está el were y el was. Por ende, ese va a servir siempre de auxiliar. Cuando ustedes vean otro verbo, entonces ya es eh, otro verbo de simple past, ¿sí? Estamos viendo el verbo to be en simple past, pero si ustedes ven otro verbo, es porque ya no es simple past. Y acuérdense también de los usos de, de, de perdón, es porque ya no es verbo to be. Y también acuérdense de los usos del verbo to be, ¿sí? Si ustedes no ven un uso del verb to be, ok, este no es verb to be, yo no veo el was a were allí, digan. Sí, entonces no lo vamos a usar como, como verb to be. No vamos a hacer la pregunta utilizando was and were, sino que el did, que ya lo vamos a ver. ¿sí? Eso es lo que hemos estado practicando estos días, uh, pero sí quería como traerlo acá ya en estructura. Este tema ya lo hemos visto Hace dos módulos, más sin embargo, como le digo, es muy importante siempre ir practicando y revisando, ¿verdad? haciendo un review. So, um, here we have yes, no question, and here we have the WH question. The only thing you need to do is put the WH question before, before the auxiliary was in word, that's it. Solamente va a poner el WH question antes de was and were, ¿sí? Where was I, where was I, si se fijan, miren acá, están todos los subjects que podemos utilizar con el was. Y aquí están todos los subjects que podemos utilizar con el were. Acá está todos los subjects que podemos utilizar con el word. Why, aquí están las WH questions. So, utilizamos WH question plus verb, el verbo es auxiliar, all right? And plus subject plus complement, all right? For example, why was he angry? Acuérdense, ver to be cero estar, porque él estaba, estaba enojado. Thank you, Daniel Ezequiel. Okay, next. Where were you yesterday? ¿Dónde estabas ayer? Location. Acuérdense, location. Uh, when, was, when was she nervous? Okay. When was she nervous? Feelings, emotions. Who were those people? Who were those people's name? Probably, right? We're talking about name here. ¿Quiénes eran esas personas? Who were those people? Okay. Entonces utilizamos WH, verb, was and were, subject, más complement and question mark, and WH question. Okay. No estamos ocupando otro verbo más que el was and were. There's no other verb. Estamos bien con el um, was and were, guys? ¿Tienen preguntas de esto? 
No question about verb to be in past. Not the chair. No, right? Easy. No, okay, so we have a practice right now. Let's go ahead and um uh, let's go ahead and have a Western word review. And this is in order to uh, let's this is and then um, scramble sentences. We will go ahead and order the scramble sentences. Teacher, the scramble sentences for me is, is a headache, all right? I know, I know the scramble sentences sometimes might be a headache for you, but that's the reason why we're going to practice this, okay? In order to master this topic, in order to master the scramble sentence, okay? So um, let's see, let me stop sharing and let me start sharing this. Just to confirm, Ezekiel and Mabel are listeners today, right? And Maggie. Okay. Ezekiel, Maggie, Maggie and Mabel. Very, very good. All right. So let me start sharing the screen. Do you see the screen, guys? Yes, teacher. Perfect. All right, so for this activity, everyone will participate, guys. So please pay attention, all right? Uh, let's see. Let's just start this unscrumbled sentence. I will spin the, the, I will spin the wheel, all right? I spin it, and then I will choose one of them. For this time, I will ask... Um, Fatima Denise to help me to answer, uh, to help me to make this sentence, okay? Fatima, are you there? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Fatima. No se ve bien. Se ve bien borroso, teacher. Really? Bien, bien borroso? The, the image is not clear. Okay, not but clear. what about the words? Las, las palabras, si las pueden ver? No. No, teacher. No, teacher. Nada? No. No, really? No. ¿Qué será? Yo las veo. Ok. <laughs> you. Ay. Qué raro. Permítame. ¿Qué puede ser? One moment. Quizás estaba compartiendo como video o algo así, teacher. En la opción. Bien. En compartir la pantalla. A ver. Ah, oh, ok. No, really, but vamos a intentar de nuevo a ver si lo pueden ver. ¿Pueden ver aquí? No. Muy borroso. Muy borroso, borroso? ¿Borroso? ¿Muy borroso? Demasiado. No me digan, en serio. That's weird. Vale, permítame. Quiero ver. Qué raro, a ver, déjeme elegir uno y me dicen, me dicen si sigue si, si, si viendo borroso. Eh. ¿Se sigue viendo borroso? Sí. Sí, yes, teacher. Oh, ¿Really? Qué raro. Oh, no, no. No, no way of reading it. No. Ok, no, me sí. One moment. Do not worry, guys. Let me do something here. Creo que es por el tipo de... Mm. Activity, maybe. Verdad que antes no habíamos tenido como ese issue, right? Que se veía borroso. Y por si color, dice. Excuse me? It's the first time. It's, it's for three colors. Uh huh. It's the first time. Maybe the internet, right? It's possible. It's possible. It might be the internet. Mm. More breathe. More, more breathing. Oh, you know what? Give me a second. <laughs> I will try something. If that will not work, then I will try any other thing. One sec. Ok. ¿Me dejan saber si siempre se ve así, please?
Okay. If this doesn't work, then we will continue with another activity. I mean, with another one. Okay. A ver, you let me know, guys. Si siempre se ve borrosito. Si siempre se ve blurred. Blurred, right? All right, me avisan, se ve blurred. Is it blurred now? Yes, teacher, pero un poco menos. Morales, Morales. Mm. Oh, okay, ahí. Okay, yes. okay. You know, yes, and there was, there was an option. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Yes. Yeah, yes. We can see, we can see. <laughs> Había una opción activada en Zoom, bien raro, que decía Optimize for Video Clip. Eso se la quité, no sé cómo se la quité. Mm, guessing. And it work. It works. So it was an option that says optimize for video click. Se lo quite. So, all right. I'm uh, sorry. Fatima, could you please help us? Just to make a question. I mean, to make a sentence. Sorry. Sentence um, using the verb to be in past with the words you, are, you have there. Mm. It's like she was studying at library. She? She was studying at library. She uh, wasn't? She wasn't so, uh, studying at library. No. <laughs> the imagine is better than yes, me, right? you know, a moment before. <laughs> yes, thank you, Dania. <laughs> she wasn't studying? Uh -huh. mm. At the library, no. Mm, he... Okay, here, uh, Fatima, uh, let's, let's try to remember that we're talking about just bird to be in past, bird to be in past, all right? Try to do it again, again. How would you make this in bird to be? She wasn't at the library. Mm -hmm. Very good. She wasn't at the library. Good job. Because if I add wasn't studying, then I'm talking about past progressive. Estoy hablando del tiempo pasado progresivo. Ella no estaba estudiando, right? Entonces ahí ya estamos hablando no de ver to be, de ser o estar, sino que estamos hablando de pasado continuo, pasado progresivo. Entonces, solamente tiene que estar un verbo, acuérdense, ese verbo es was or were. Yes? Okay. Yes. She wasn't at the library. Very good, Fatima. All right. Daniel, could you please help me with the next one? Okay. Oh, what's going on here? It's not at all. Oh, here we have it. All right. Um... All right, what about this one, Daniel? How would you make that sentence? Okay, they were late for the class. They were late for the class. Very good, good job, all right. Let's see, Luis, could you please help me with the next one? No. I know, you, you, you will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. This one. Um, it might be a sentence. It might be a question. It might be a yes, no question. A WH question. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Was he at the game? Was he at the game? Very good. Was he at the game? Good job, Luis. All right. Let's go with Julio Cesar Merino. You can do it, Julio. Let's do it. All right, Julio. This one. 
This is a little blur. I know it's a little blur, but oh my god, and still read it, right? Okay. Um, it's hot. The was weather last Sunday. Okay. The was. The was weather. Let's look for the subject. Let's look for the subject. What is the subject? The subject is um was no no it's, no. it's the bear. It's the bear. That's the bear exactly. What yes. is the bear? So what yes. is the subject? Oh my god. Um the subject is um acuérdese que uno de los usos, usos del verb to be es para descripción ¿sí? description descripción uh -huh. description para describir algo mm. no está en dicho sol let's try to do Tenía. it Tratemos Tenía. de dejarlo. Sí. Vamos con yes. el sujeto. Vamos con el sujeto. Let's look for the subject here. What el is the subject? El subject is, is I, he, she, it. Esos son it. los pronombres, exactly. Pero es, también, es podemos de, de, también podemos hablar de... También podemos hablar del perro, podemos hablar de la caja, podemos hablar de... Um, let's see de un mes, por ejemplo, el mes de septiembre, de una computadora, eh, de los hermanos, de la familia. Okay. No, se, no simplemente de they, he, she, or it. Esos son pronombres, ¿verdad? Mm. Siempre el sujeto es de quién se está hablando. ¿Sí? No se preocupe, Julio. Vamos a buscar cuál es el verbo. What is the subject? The verb is was. Perfect. Entonces tenemos el was aquí, ¿verdad? Yes. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ir paso a paso. Do not worry. So tenemos el eh, verb that is was, right? Yes. Ok. Creo que se quita. Ah, oh, yes, you have it. Ya tenemos el was, ok. Ahora vamos a ir buscando lo demás. El complement. ¿Cuál cree que es el complemento? Last Acuérdense Sunday. La Sunday. Very good. Y ese está, o sea, está haciendo... Eh, se está utilizando, perdón, eh, está cumpliendo la función de un time expression o una expresión de tiempo que normalmente van al final, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces, was la sande. Ya tenemos el ver y el complement. Solamente nos hace falta el subject. El subject. Weather. Very good. Weather. Ok. Yes. Ok. Well The weather. Was, the was weather, weather, ¿verdad? Entonces estamos hablando sí. del clima. Sí. Sí, weather. Sí. The weather was. Was? Um, the weather was weather. No. Excuse me, excuse me. The weather was. Was? Hot, hot last Very good. Entonces, el clima estaba. ¿Qué Caliente, dice? El último. Domingo. Description, right? Hot. Yes. Okay, yes, so description. The weather was hot last Sunday. See? The weather, when, okay. Cuando usted se siente, cuando usted guys se sientan así que, ay, no, I don't know how to, how to do it. Demos una palabra, no, no saben ahí, traten de hacer las demás. Y de último le van a ir entendiendo. All right? Okay, teacher. Very good, Julio. Thank you. You're welcome. Good job. Okay, let's go with, um, Jaime, let's do the next one, Jaime. And then Marcos Antonio. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's so difficult. <laughs> We weren't alone. Ay, Jaime, that's so <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Thank you. We weren't alone. Good job. Let's go with Marcos Antonio Melgar y luego Marcos Amil Carmancía. No Marcos Antonio. Sabrina. Hey, Sabrina, where is Sabrina? Uh -huh. Okay, Marcos Antonio. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> to sleep in. Ok, Marcos. Dice, ese ya le salió a Luis. <clears throat> Other. O other teacher. Let's do it, pues. Let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> Marcos Ken. Oh, my God. This is already chosen. Other. What's going on? Okay, here I have it. All right, what about this one? <gasps> That's so easy. It's ver, difficult. Yes. No, it's not she, difficult. I know she, you can. She was. She. Don't just say she either. I don't see she. I don't see that pronoun. Teacher, ahí dice he. Ah, perdón. Ahí dice I. 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 I want. <laughs> yes. Yo sé que se dejó llevar por la por, por la picture, but it's fine, Marco. <laughs> I. I was sick to. Weeks ago. Good job. Perfect. Okay, let's go with Marcos Amilcar. Ve que estaba fácil. All right, let's go with Marcos Amilcar. Then yeah. we will go with Marielo Janet, okay? Okay, Marcos Amilcar. The... Okay, teacher. One. Wow. Mm -hmm. The, the the concert was good last night. Good job. Great. Perfect. Marielo Janet. Let's do it, Marielo Janet. <clears throat> this is similar to Marco's one. Uh... Es más difícil. It's not, it's not más difícil. Solo la mía era la más difícil. The word, 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 the 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 word, the subject? The, like, the, uh, the subject. ¿De quién estamos well, hablando? Uh, the children. Uh -huh. Very good. So, how do you start the sentence with the subject? The subject. Um, subject me dijo que era children, right? Entonces, empecemos sí. la oración con children. The children. The children mm -hmm. were six last week very good good job thank you Lisette let's do it with the next one Lisette and then I will go with Osvin uh, let's do another one because oh why they are repeating they have been repeating it all right let's go with this one Lisette that is okay. difficult, right? <laughs> what is uh, the key? I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, see there. I see there. Um, Danny was okay. Danny was the party had yesterday. Sorry. What about the question mark? Um, wow, well, ah, sorry. Was Danny mm -hmm. 
was Danny. Was Danny the party had yesterday? Mm, was Danny? Es que... What, ¿Cuál es el uso que le estamos dando al ver to be ahí? Guys? <coughs> location, very good. So, ¿cómo haríamos esa pregunta en location? Where was? Ahí está was, ok. Was, was Danny at the party yesterday? Mm -hmm. Very good. Was Danny at the party yesterday? Very good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Lisette. Ok, let's go with the next one. Let's go with Osvin. Ok. Ok, Osvin. Let's go with this one. This is a little, a little complicated. A little, just a little. Let me see. Because Don't worry, take your time, take your time. I stay in the cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worry. <laughs> we have canceled, then we have the, then we have once, then we have concert, bad weather, off, because. Then I will go with Kenny. The concert mm -hmm. was concert mm -hmm. uh, of because mm -hmm. the Thank weather mm -hmm. bad. The concert <laughs> was canceled because of because of the weather because of because of weather was bad mm, this is this is as a, this is as an objective it's together bad weather bad weather mm -hmm. mm, because of bad weather there you go mm -hmm. good job good job mm -hmm. all right very good all right, so let's go with the next one. Let's see. Um, I don't remember. Jennifer, are you there, Jennifer? Oh, Kenny, sorry. Kenny, are you there? I'm here, teacher. Okay, let's go with Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer. And then I will go with Christian if I if you, if I have Christian here. Okay. Oh my God. I got. I need yes. to have another one. Thank you. <laughs> and Jessica and Julio Cesar. Marina. <clears throat> okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Let's go with this one, Jennifer. Oh, the question. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you at home yesterday? Sorry, could you please repeat? Were you at home yesterday? Very good, Jennifer. Good job. Okay. Let's go with uh, Christian. Let's go, Christian. And then with Marina. <clears throat> Sorry, Christian. Let's choose another one. Yes, yes, that one. Okay. <laughs> All right, Christian. Let's do it. It was in call last Saturday. 
Very good. It wasn't cold last Saturday. Very good. Thank you. Let's go, Marina, with the next one. Oh my God. <laughs> they are repeating. <laughs> mm. um, we haven't finished all of them, right? There you go, the orange one. Okay, Marina. Eh, the Hi, teacher. You can do it. <laughs> the guest. Mm -hmm. The guests were late for the party. Good job. Perfect. You can do it. Jonathan, are you there? Julio Cesar and Jessica? Julio Cesar, Jessica, Estefania? Me? Kenny? Kenny, let's do it, Kenny. Very good. Okay, that will be the last one, okay? This is the last one. No, oh, we got it already. Another one, Kenny. Sorry. The purple one. No, that, that one. No, the other one. The other purple one. Give me a second, Kenny. Mm. I need the purple, a purple one, but not that one. Yes. Why? Why this is happening? <gasps> what did I do? I don't know what did I do. That one. Okay, but uh, let's do the, 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 the blue one. Okay. The one that is next. Exciting movie wasn't that. How would you make that one? Okay. This one. Um, the movie was exciting. Exciting. Very good. Exciting. Sorry. Exciting. <laughs> good job, Kenny. All right, guys. So I would like to ask you if you might be having question after this activity about the verb to be in past. Questions? Questions or no questions? So the good, clear like water? No question, teacher. Okay, perfect. So let me share the screen and let's continue with the class, all right? Uh, okay, guys, now here we have, I know this is not the first time that you see the uses of the verb to, of the simple past. Estamos hablando de los usos del, del simple past en general, okay? En general. Estos, estoy hablando de todos los otros verbos a excepción del ver to be, ¿ok? Obviamente, guys, cuando yo digo eh, ver to be, ¿ok? También estoy hablando del pasado, ¿ok? Ahora bien, para todos los demás otros verbos tenemos estos usos. Vamos a leerlos ahorita detenidamente y mientras paso yo el um, the attendance list, ¿ok? Leanlos, please, guys, y luego vamos a explicar. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Uh, Daniel Isíquiel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Oriana del CIP. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Present teacher. Julio, Julio César Marino González. 
Present. Julio Cesar Ramírez Arevalo. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Present, teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present, teacher. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present, teacher. Marielo Janet Corden Juarazo. Present, teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present, teacher. Oswin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. Sabrina, thank you. Sabrina Lizeth <laughs> García Orellana. Oh, where is Sabrina? Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Miss Smith. Present, teacher. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Fátima Denis. Where is Fátima? Fátima, are you there? Okay, let's see. Fátima? No está Fátima acá. No, right. No, maybe she has problems. See? Okay, guys. So here we have the uses of the simple past, all right? Um, as we know, we, we talk about, I mean, we use the simple past for completed actions in the time before now, okay? We're talking about past. I met my husband in 1993. Eso ya pasó, ok. Ya lo conocí, all right. Es una acción que already finished, ok. Lo utilizamos también for events that were true for some time in the past. Eventos que fueron ciertos en el pasado. Eh, for example, they live in Russia for three years. Eventos que fueron eh, realidad, ¿verdad? Que, 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 que fueron verdad en, en un pasado, que fueron ciertos en el pasado. Uh, we use the past tense for a list of completed actions in the past. For example, Ryan came in, took off his coat and sat down. Una lista. Cuando ustedes están contando una historia, ustedes ocupan el simple past. Algo que ya pasó, ¿verdad? Si ustedes se fijan, los verbos están acá, están acá divididos por una coma porque es una lista de acciones, ¿verdad? Es como que Ryan entró, se quitó su jacket, right, And sat down. Y se sentó. ¿Sí? Todos están en pasado. Came to cough his coat to cough and sat down. Todos están en pasado los verbos. All right. También lo utilizamos por, para hábitos que teníamos en el pasado. Habits. When I was a child, I played the piano. All right. Cuando yo era un niño, yo tocaba el piano. Es un hábito que tuvimos, ¿verdad? Pero no more. We don't have it anymore. ¿Ok? Finish actions. Estamos hablando de finish actions. All right? Acciones que ya no están en el presente. All right, we use also the simple past to talk about an action in the past that takes place in the middle of another action. All right. Um, Recuerdenme si ha visto, ya vimos esa estructura, guys. Sorry, guys, just give me a moment. Okay, guys, sorry. 
So, no sé si ustedes recuerden si ya vimos esa, esa estructura. No. Guys? No, right? No, teacher. Ok, so esta estructura, guys, lo vamos a ver en un futuro. Es una estructura en la cual ocupamos el past progressive, pasado progresivo, ok. El que vimos, pero en pasado. Presente continuous, pero en pasado. Was watching TV, más eh, versus, perdón, versus el pasado. Acá dice, cuando yo estaba viendo televisión, perdón, cuando ella entró, yo estaba viendo televisión. Entonces, ocupamos el pasado para ese tipo de estructura. Ok, Ocupa, eh, cuando interrumpimos una, interrumpimos una acción in the middle of another action, a la mitad de, otro, de otra acción. Quiere decir que este, guys, esta es una acción progresiva que estaba pasando en el pasado, progresiva. Por mucho tiempo ya estaba viendo televisión. Pero de repente, esa acción se cortó por una acción un poco más corta. Una acción corta es cuando que okay, yo entro, yo salgo. No es muy, muy una acción tan progresiva como lo es ver, estar viendo televisión, estar estudiando, estar escuchando música, etc. Entonces, luego vamos a ver esto. Do not worry, ¿ok? Luego lo vamos a ver. No se me confundan, solamente quiero decirles que lo utilizamos para este tipo de estructura. ¿Yes? Y lo utilizamos for facts, for past facts, ¿ok? Hechos del pasado. He did not like eggs before. No le gustaban los huevos antes, right? Es un hecho que no le gustaba. And the video is missing and it's not letting me put it. All right. So that's pretty much the, 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 the uses. It's not so complicated, the past, guys. Solamente lo utilizamos para hablar del pasado. That's it. All right. No es, cuando, no es como cuando hablamos del verb to be, que siempre es en el pasado y pasa en el pasado, all right? Pero eh, tiene como más usos el verb to be, ¿no? En cambio, este es como que we're talking about the past with the other verbs, ¿ok? ¿Questions about this, guys? ¿Or no questions? We have to get a practice. We need to uh, to make practice. That's right. Okay. So let's see. Now we will go ahead and uh, review the structure of the simple past. Vamos a revisar toda la estructura del simple past. Eh, lo contrario de lo que vimos la vez pasada, la estructura del was y el were. Ahora en vez del was y el were, vamos a ver los otros verbos in past. All right? Ok. Um, here, this is, a, this is an structure that you have already started, guys. But remember, we're talking about a review. Ok, maybe for some of you, this is the first time. For some of you, you have been watching this. Uh, slides before, but this is the one that works for us. So in the affirmative form, the simple past, guys. Okay, we have the subject, we have the verb, and we have the complement in the affirmative form. Okay? Aquí tenemos todos los subjects. Acuérdense que estos subjects pueden ser reemplazados por el perro, the dog, the cat, the, the phone, the bottle, the weather, okay? my family, etc. All right? Todo esto puede ser reemplazado por eso. María, eh, Panamá, eh, San Salvador, Katia y me, my parents, etc. Todos esos pronombres pueden ser reemplazados por nombres reales también, ¿ok? Nombres que no solamente sean pronombres, all right? Y luego ocupamos el verb. En este caso es el, el verbo play, Play, pero está en ED, lo cual me indica que está en pasado. Played. Played. All right. Y ya sí, la pronunciación es con, la, uh, con esa pronunciación. Played. Yo ya les pasé la pronunciación de los verbos en pasado, right? 
No sé si se recuerda, al principio creo que les pregunté acerca de eso. Sorry, y me di cuenta de que no, algunos no lo tenían, algunos no se acordaban de las pronun tres pronunciaciones que tenemos. Do you remember that? ¿Revisaron eso, guys? ¿O no yet? ¿No? ¿No se recuerdan? Que una pronunciación es do, la otra es t, y la otra es we e d. ¿Sí? Ok. I hope yes. All right. One moment. All right. Let's continue. So, we have here. One second. We have here the subject, then we have the verb. Is the irregular or irregular, guys? This verb. Regular or irregular verb? What is it? Regular verb. Regular verb. Regular verb. Regular verb. So we have subject, verb, and complement. That's it, all right? La única diferencia es que el verbo está en past. That's it, all right? Subject, verb, and complement. Examples. I worked, I worked, I worked at the hospital one year ago. She went to the park in the morning. When is that a regular or irregular verb? Went. Regular. Irregular. Irregular. Los regulars normalmente terminan con ed, guys. Ed, okay. Ajá. Los irregulars normalmente se los tiene que aprender. Son diferentes la, la estructura. <laughs> Studied regular or irregular? Regular. 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 Worked regular or irregular? Regular. 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 Perfect. So we studied English last night. We have subject, we have verb in past, we have complement. All right? Subject, verb in past, and complement. Subject, very past, in compliments. Algo que estaba hablando ayer con una de sus compañeras, guys, es que cuando ustedes estén en, una, en un tiempo, en una estructura, es muy importante, guys, que ustedes le pongan el time expression, la expresión de tiempo. La expresión de tiempo les va a ayudar muchísimo para identificar qué tipo de estructura o qué tipo de tiempo ustedes tienen, ¿sí? Entonces es muy importante que ustedes le agreguen todo esto. Por ejemplo, en el simple pass es, es muy frecuente que utilicemos el ago, que es el mes anterior, ¿verdad? Hace un, perdón, o se puede decir hace un año, hace un mes. Entonces es ago me indica que es un, un año, un día, un mes atrás, ¿ok? Eh, In the morning también, en la mañana, en la mañana pasó esa uh, acción, last night, last Sunday, last morning, ok, etc. All right, questions about the affirmative form, guys? No questions? No. Ok. Ok, let's go with that negative statement, all right? The negative statement is this one. All right, here in the negative statement in simple past, guys, we use subject, all right? Subject, then we have and did not, or in, um, sorry, contracted form will be didn't, all right? Didn't, contracted. So, puede decir didn't, or puede decir did, did not. Y acá, eso es lo que usted utiliza para negarlo. Si estábamos hablando anterior de, de, anteriormente de play, ok, ahora no vamos a decir played con la ed, ya no lo vamos a hacer en, sorry, ya no lo vamos a poner en ed o ya no vamos a conjugar el verbo en pasado, ya no, porque estamos hablando de negative, ya no, ahora el verbo se va a mantener en base forma, base form, por eso es que no cambia. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué, teacher? Why do I es Why do I keep the verb in in base form? It is because you are putting a negative form here. Ya okay? está en negativo. Exactly. So Pero we no say didn't or did not plus the verb plus the complement. That's it. All right. 
I did not play soccer yesterday or I didn't play soccer yesterday. Marina and me didn't play soccer yesterday. She didn't play soccer this yesterday. All right, entonces estamos hablando acá de que no importa cuál es el sujeto, acá no va a cambiar. Mientras que anteriormente, guys, en el presente, affirmative it's, it's, era muy importante. Sorry, in the past, in the past in the affirmative form, era muy importante cuando hablamos de third person. ¿Ok? Porque en las terceras personas, ¿qué decíamos que teníamos que hacer con las terceras personas acá? Acá. ¿Seguro? Ed, ed, ed. ¿Ah? ¿Y las Agregar otras personas? El ed. ¿Y las otras personas? Sorry. ¿No le agregamos ed? ¿Qué hacíamos en las terceras personas acá? ¿Nada? Nothing. Nothing, right? Okay. Don't get confused, guys. So, in simple past, Guys, es muy importante saber que acá en, eh, no es como en el presente que decíamos dasen no le agregamos la S a la tercera persona. No, acá a todas le vamos a estar agregando either the ED o a todas le vamos a estar poniendo o conjugando el verbo en pasado. Ok, so don't worry. También en la negativa. Negative form, guys. Normal. Todos decimos diren, 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 diren. O did not, did not, did not, did not. Ok. No exceptions. Ok. No exceptions. Example. Example. I didn't work at the hospital one year ago. She didn't go to the park in the morning. We didn't study last night. All right. That's the difference. You put did not or you put didn't. That's it. Ok. Y la otra diferencia es que el verbo no lo conjuga, lo mantiene en, en base form. Questions about these guys? Voy un poco rápido porque nomás es un review, guys. All right, that's it. No questions about these? Negative statement, affirmative statements, no questions? No, teacher. Okay. Okay, let's go with the yes, no questions. Yes, no questions in the simple past. Anteriormente, guys, el único verbo que usted tenía era el was. ¿Sí? Decíamos, uh, were you happy yesterday? Um, was I at the hospital? Um, all right. That I also said, let's see. Um, let's see. Was... Was her, um, was her name, uh, let's see, Amanda? Was her name Amanda? Okay. Dígame otra, otro ejemplo en, en, en yes, no question, the verb to be, guys. Example. Mm -hmm. More examples. <clears throat> Uh -huh. More examples in verb to be in simple past. Luis, give me an example. Luis. Mm -hmm. okay, um, in verb to be. Uh, he was. Uh, he was. <laughs> Is yes, he no question. A doctor? Was, was he a doctor? And, uh, with my mother? Mm, was he a doctor? Era un doctor? Was he a doctor? Es así, Julio. Was he a doctor? Yes, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Luis, an example? Uh, was he born? Was he born? Yes. Mm. I'm just adding about it. Um, because it's another structure. Porque mm. le estamos poniendo el born. Mm -hmm. 
o oh, 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 per, permítame, born de nacer. Yes. Mm. Was oh, he confused. born? Was he born es como me está diciendo el, el verbo de born. Mm -hmm. El, el verbo nació. de born. Entonces. Entonces ahí sería otra estructura. No la voy a decir para no confundirlos, pero estamos poniendo otra estructura. Que ya la vimos, de hecho. El passive. ¿Alguna otra? Está abierta. O que tiene problemas de la resistencia calefactora. El mismo sector. Pues ahora sí vamos a, a revisar. Sí, bueno. uh, Luis, ¿otra? Ah, sorry. <risa> Eh. Mm, 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 mm. Tenemos location, tenemos name, tenemos age, tenemos nationality, feelings, emotions, description. What else? Mm -hmm. Was he a teacher? Ajá, uh -huh. was he a teacher, very good, all right. So, si se fijan, no hay otro verbo, ¿sí? No hay otro verbo en el verb to be, solo was and were, ¿sí? Ahora bien, vámonos al simple past que es el que estoy mostrando ahorita, ¿sí? For making the yes no question in the simple past, we start with the auxiliary verb no matter what subject, no matter what person did, all right? We start with did, all right? Did plus subject. Did I, did you, did Maria, did Luis, did they, did we, they, did they, did, they, did you, etc. Todos los subjects aquí. And then we use the verb. Verb en base forma siempre. Acuérdense que en base forma del pasado lo vamos a ocupar en las negativas y en las preguntas. Ok, ya no lo vamos a poner en pasado, solamente lo vamos a poner en, en el affirmative. So, tenemos el did, subject, verb, uh, complement, and question mark. Ok? So, this is going to be, did I play soccer yesterday? ¿Jugué ayer fútbol? Did you play soccer yesterday? ¿Jugaste ayer fútbol? Jugó ella fútbol, él jugó el fútbol, jugamos nosotros fútbol, etc. ¿Sí? Entonces acá, ¿de qué verbo estamos hablando? Del verbo play, All right? jugar, play. Y entonces como tenemos un verbo que no es el verb to be, a estos verbos el auxiliar que le vamos a poner es el did. ¿Qué pasa si le pongo el verbo work? El verbo go, el verbo study, all right? Siguen siendo en pasado y lo que me indica que es pasado es el did, ok? Lo que me indica que esta pregunta es en pasado es el did. So, para todos estos verbos utilizamos el did como auxiliary. Ya no le vamos a poner was ni el were. En tu forma siempre. Ya no le vamos a poner was and were, ok? No podemos combinar el was and were con el play. Porque entonces estaríamos sure. haciendo otra estructura. Yes? Teacher, solo, solo para tener una aclaración, más bien dicho, para que me quede un poquito más claro, la acción es la única que diferencia eh, el, el uso del, del, del was, were o el did, por ejemplo, si estamos hablando de una acción específica que no sea locación, name, or, or uh, I don't remember the other one, eh, esa es la diferencia. Exacto, el uso. Acuérdese usted cuando se sienta confundido, no, pero es que <coughs> eh, ver to be significa ser o estar y es el único uh -huh. verbo que voy a tener en la oración, no voy a tener otro, porque si tengo otro ya no es simple present, uh, sorry, uh -huh. ya no es uh, ver to be en paz. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Entonces, okay. acá no podemos decir verdad, guys. Eh, miren, vamos a hacer la prueba. No los quiero confundir, pero vamos a hacer la prueba. ¿Qué tal si le ponemos acá was? Uy, sorry. ¿Y qué tal que le ponemos were aquí? Ok. ¿Cómo haríamos la pregunta? Una pregunta. Eh, 
El, el DID es, es para el pasado, ¿verdad? Pa es el, un auxiliar para el pasado, exacto. El, el WAS ya es para el, el progresivo y el continuo. No. <risa> el, el WAS y el WERE también es simple past. Uh -huh. Solamente que lo ocupamos para el ver to be. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Solo ver uh -huh. to be. Pero uh -huh. también Marco se ocupa para progresivo en pasado. Pasado. Uh -huh. Sí, pasado. Okay. El progresivo en pasado, recuérdense que ahí sí nosotros ocupamos la, la combinación de los dos. Porque yo puedo decir, I was sleeping. Yo estaba durmiendo. I was sleeping. I was eating. Ok. Pero en pasado lo estoy diciendo. Es como uh -huh. que yo diga, I am sleeping. Marcos is eating. Él está comiendo, ok, yo estaba durmiendo, pero estoy hablando de un presente o pasado progresivo, ¿sí? Okay. Donde ya combinamos los dos. Okay. Por eso es que les digo, el ver to be es muy importante porque en las estructuras la mayoría de veces se vuelven a reutilizar el ver to be. El ver to be es muy importante por eso. Porque en otras estructuras se vuelve a utilizar el ver to be con otras estructuras. En cambio, el solito. Si usted quiere hacer una negative o una, si una, ne, una negative o una pregunta, usted va a ocupar como auxiliar el was y el were porque es el único en ver to be. Pero si estamos hablando de simple past, aquí con el simple past el auxiliar va a ser did. Porque no puedo decir, was I play soccer yesterday? A ver, tradúzcame esta oración. Si yo digo, was I, was I play soccer yesterday? Tradúzcame en español. Uh -huh. Estuviste. Si viene 35 y trae 50. Estuve yo. Jugar. Estuve jugar soccer ayer. ¿Cómo jugar? Fue? Kenny. Ajá, jugar. Estuve jugar. Exacto, yo no puedo, no, usted no me puede decir jugando porque yo no veo el ING, right? Entonces, por eso that doesn't make sense. Estuve yo jugar fútbol ayer, hmm, ¿verdad? En lo que a mí me hace, perdón, lo que, yo me hace el pas, lo que me hace el pasado es el did. Ok, jugué yo fútbol ayer. Y perdonen que les esté diciendo, tradúzcame, porque no me gusta decir eso en, en, en español porque es completamente diferente en inglés, pero a veces funciona. A veces funciona para entenderlo. Y se dice, mm, no, it doesn't make sense, ¿sí? Pero no es bueno todas las veces estar traduciendo por lo mismo, porque no el inglés y el español no, 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 no van a ser iguales. Pero en algunas ocasiones nos ayuda a darnos cuenta, ¿sí? Entonces, no podemos ponerle was y where aquí. Cuando vemos otros verbos acá, play, 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 word, go study, no le ponemos was and were, ¿ok? Porque estamos hablando en simple past. Le ponemos el did, yes. So, we say, did I work at the hospital one year ago? Mm, yes, I did. No, I didn't, right? Did she go to the park in the morning? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Did they study last night? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. So, esa va a ser la respuesta. Yes, I did. You, yes, you did. Yes, he did. Yes, she did. Yes, we did. Yes, you did. Yes, they did. O si no, no, I did not. Or no, I didn't. No, you did not. Or no, you didn't. Etc. Okay? So, are we good? Estamos un poquito más claros entre la diferencia entre estos dos en el yes, no questions, guys. Dígame si ¿sí yes, siguen teniendo it's dificultad o, o todavía tienen como dudas, please let me know. Ahora es el tiempo, hasta ahorita, aunque nos hacemos más tiempo, no worries. Porque acuérdense que ahorita estamos en que la tercera vez que vemos el simple path. Y el simple pass del ver to be, estamos en tercera vez que lo vemos. Creo que es el momento, sorry, creo que es el momento de hacer una, 
de, de, de crearnos acá dudas, de aclararlas, para que en la otra vez que usted vea el simple pass, usted ya no tenga las dudas. Si lo vuelve a ver. Porque ya tenemos tres reviews del simple pass. ¿Dudas? No. Okay, guys. So, what about WH question in simple past? Okay, lo mismo. Okay, yes, no question. Solamente que le agrego el WH question, guys. Aquí. Sí. Solo que realmente que le agrego el, el yes, uh, WH question, sorry. Le mantengo el did y le mantengo el verbo en base form. Le mantengo el did y el verbo el base form. Sí. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tengo el did, el did ya me está pasando en pasado esto, ya no necesito hacerlo, eh, necesito pasar el verbo en ed o ponerlo en, en, en um, sorry, en past, ya no necesito. No voy a decir where did she went, ¿verdad? No voy a decir where did she went, no, ya no, porque estoy acá poniendo el pasado doble. Ya tengo el did acá, ya no necesito ponerlo, right? No, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and review the WH question in simple pass. We put the WH word, then we have the auxiliary verb, which is did. Then we have the subject, which is she. Then we have the verb, which is go. Base form. Acá dice, mire, base form. And then we have the complement. All right. That's it. So how would it be? Where did she go yesterday? ¿A dónde fue ayer? Where did she go yesterday? Ahora, en la respuesta, como es WH question, Long answer, ok, ahora usted sí me va a poner en pasado la respuesta. Porque usted va a responder con una afirmativa, right? Entonces, where did she go yesterday? She went, ok, to planes de renderos, ok. ¿Cuál es la pregunta, cuál, cuál es la respuesta de where? Planes de renderos, lugar, ok. When. When did they study English? When, la respuesta es yesterday, right? Por eso está así, What, yesterday. Entonces, they study English yesterday. Acá en pasado, porque es una afirmativa. All right? What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? I visited my grandmother last weekend. Okay? Pasado. Past. Pongan el pasado porque son afirmativas. All right? And, creo que eso lo habíamos explicado anteriormente, pero es muy importante volverlo a ver. Cuando nosotros estamos haciendo una pregunta, guys, con el a who, ¿ok? No te ponemos auxiliar. ¿Ok? No ponemos auxiliar. ¿Por qué no ponemos auxiliar? Porque nuestra pregunta es quién. Ok, entonces acá la pregunta ya no le va a poner el auxiliar did. Esta es una excepción que hay. Entonces usted me va a decir, who went to the beach? ¿Quién fue a la playa? No podemos decir, who did go? No, who went to the beach. Es la única excepción con el who. Para todos mm -hmm. los demás usted me pone el auxiliary. Who went to the beach? Jessica went to the beach. Ok, es la única excepción con el who. Con los demás siempre le ponemos el did. Are you following me, guys? ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí? Yes? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Ok. So, guys, ahora que hemos hecho este review de Simple Pass, ya tenemos el review de Bird to Be as well. Ya tenemos practice del Bird to Be. Vamos a practicar this. Simple Pass. All right? Simple pass de los otros verbos. <laughs> All right. So, guys, do me a favor and go to the page 43, please. Go to the page 43. Let me share the screen. Page 43. We have a conversation practice on the page 30, 43. Sorry. Okay. 
One moment, please. Okay, page 43. We have a conversation here. And this conversation is about uh, Miss, Mrs. Mrs. Lewis and Eric. Mrs. Lewis and Eric, okay? So uh, let's listen to me just to see what is the pronunciation and intonation of the conversation and then you will practice. All of you will be practicing this conversation later on, okay? So let's see. Um, hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. All right. So let's go ahead and have this practice about pronunciation in the past, guys. Let's see the pronunciation of this. So we will go ahead and please repeat after me. All of you, guys, turn on the microphone, okay? All of you turn on the microphone. Let's practice, let's practice the pronunciation, intonation, tone of voice. <coughs> guys, Estefania Marroquina, ayúdeme por favor a poner todo su nombre completo. Estefania. <coughs> Sorry, que no me había dado cuenta. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, Stephanie. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's repeat after me, all of you guys. All right. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hi, Hi Eric. Eric. How is it going? How is it going? How is it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thank you. Thanks for asking. Hello, Hello Mrs. Lewis. Lewis. I am the I am just fine. Thanks for, for asking. For asking. You're welcome. How was the training? You're welcome. You're welcome. welcome. How was, How the, was training? Training? the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. It was a speaker had a lot of experience and he was, was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Did, Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Talk about? about? Yes, he did, and he used the, a computer to provide examples. Yes, yes he, he did. did. And he used, he used a computer to provide, provide examples. examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? So, no. so everything was fine, fine right? Was fine, right? right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Very good. Let's repeat some words after me. Just some words. Mrs. Lewis. Mrs. Lewis. Mrs. Lewis. Mrs. Lewis. Luis. Luis. Mm -hmm. yes. How was? How was? How was? How was? How was? A lot of experience. A lot, lot of experience. A lot of experience. A lot of experience. A lot of experience. A lot of experience. Very. 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 Very, very, very knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. 
knowledgeable. Knowledge, knowledgeable. 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 He was very knowledgeable. He was very knowledgeable. 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 There you go. Very good. Um, talk. Normalmente, guys, ustedes pronuncian este verbo como talk. talk. Ahora con la ED, usted dice talk. 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 He talked about. Talked about. Talked about. Como que acá hubiera una T, miren. He talked about. Y se une con la A. Talked about. Se une con la A el sonido. Talked about. Talked about. No es lo mismo decir he talked about. No, talk about en presente que he talked about en pasado. He talked about. Oh. Mm -hmm. talked about. Let's see. He used. 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 used. Ahora terminamos used. con la D, right? Muy pronunciada esa de al final. Do, que termina do. He used do. Very good. Ajá. Ahora, ¿cómo unimos? ¿Cómo hacemos el linking sound? La unión de sonidos. Lo, lo hacemos. He used. He used. ¿Cómo que usted dice? He used, he, used, he, used he used the computer. He used the he computer. Used the computer. He, used the, he used the computer. Uh -huh. Es diferente si yo digo, he used, he used a computer. He used a computer. Estoy hablando de presente. He used Just a up. computer. Ahora en pasado, he used the computer. He used he the used computer. The he used the computer. He used, he used the, the computer. computer. Very good. Entonces, todos esos detalles, guys, se tienen que tener cuidado de pronunciar la D. Okay? Teacher, but I don't know if it is a do, if it is a do, if it is a do. Okay? Watch the video. <laughs> Watch the video that I sent to you with the do, to, and did. All right? Ahí tienen que palabras son voiceless, and voiceless. Si terminan en ED. Okay? Perdón, si termina en T o en D, entonces la pronunciación es D. Watch the video, guys, please. So, uh, let's see. Sounds good. Repeat after me. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. No sounds, es sounds, right? Sounds, sounds good. Sounds, sounds good. good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Everything was. Everything was. Everything, everything was. was. Everything. Everything. Everything, everything, everything was. Very good. Was. Let's see. This one. Some minutes. Some minutes. Acá ustedes eliminan Some silence minutes. letters. Miren, silent sounds que no hacemos. Estas oh. dos las eliminemos y se, se convierte en una sola palabra. Para unir los sonidos. Esa, una, esa sola palabra se va a decir some minutes. Repeat after me. Minutes. Some minutes. Some, some minutes. minutes. ¿Se fija la some diferencia? Minutes. Si yo dejo eso, yo digo some minutes. Entonces some usted, minutes. para hablar como native, usted dice some minutes. Some, some minutes late. Some, some minutes late. Very good. Questions about pronunciation, guys? 
Questions? Question about the pronunciation intonation here? No questions? No, no, no knowledgeable. 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 All right. Knowledgeable. Okay, guys. Voy a ir underline, underline the, the conversation. Voy a ir. Um, how, how is it in Spanish? <laughs> Sorry, guys. That happens all the time. How, how, what is the meaning of underline? Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> what is the meaning of underline in Spanish? Repellando. De, ¿va? Repellando. No, Subrayar. <laughs> Subrayar. Ay, repellando, escuché. ¿Qué? Eso dijeron. Subrayando. Eh, son minutos la otra, ¿verdad? Teacher. Son minutos. Ah. Some minutes, exactly. Minutes. One moment, guys. Minutes. So just one moment. Some minutes. Some minutes. Okay, sorry. Uh, so voy a ir underline, underlining, okay. Eh, subrayando. I will be doing this. Y ustedes lo van a ir leyendo, ustedes solitos, en orden, all right? No se me vayan unos tan rápido, unos tan despacio. Como es el tono voice, haciendo pausas, usando las puntuaciones, no tan rápido, ¿ok? Sí, vamos a ir haciendo así. Yo lo voy a ir delineando, underline, ¿ok? Subraya. And you will read, ¿ok? You will read. Ustedes solos, todos, everyone, turn on the camera. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, right. one, two, three. Acuérdense que si yo no, 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 no subrayo, ustedes no leen, all right? Para que vayamos exactamente en orden. Okay, por eso vamos a ir, después de mi underline, you will speak. One, two, three, start. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. How, How is he doing? doing? How is he doing? Hello, Hello Miss Lewis. Lewis. Hello, Miss Lewis. Lewis. I'm just, I'm just fine. fine. I am just fine. Thanks, Thanks for asking. asking. Hello for asking. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. How was, How was the training? training? How was the training? How was the How training? Was the training? How was the training? How was the training? Pongale esa song, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Salsita, sauce, all right? It was, it was excellent. excellent. It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience. He had a lot of experience. And he was and very, he was, was, he was no, very knowledgeable. No, 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 Did he provide a sample of the topic he talked about? One more time. Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Oh. Did he Did provide a sample of, of the topic, of topic, topic he talked about? Topics he talked about? Yes, he did. 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 Just three of you. All yes, of you guys. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> and he and used he a, a computer, computer to provide samples. He samples. used a computer to provide samples. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, so everything, everything was fine. Right. Was fine right. Right. So everything was fine, right? Well, when yeah, was, was some, some minutes late, I really realized. Okay, <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay. So, guys, um, what kind zero. of event did Eric attend? What kind of event did Eric attend? Sorry. 
trained? He was training. One more time, full answer. What kind of event did Eric attend? Um, Affirmative sentence. Uh -huh. What kind of event did Eric attend? He did training. Again? Training. No. ¿Cómo respondemos en la WH question, guys? No, teacher, we don't have questions. Guys, Eric, I would, I would um, go ahead and... Trying. Uh -huh. How do I answer? Uh -huh. Eric. Mm -hmm. Very good. Eric. Eric. Let me go back. <laughs> All right. Eric, kind, Eric, Eric, kind. What kind of event is get get tipo de event? Oh, kind and oh, kind. ¿Cuál es el verbo ahí? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Kind. Ten. Ten. What is the past oh, of a ten? ¿Cuál es el pasado kind de a ten? Oh. A ten. Sí. El pasado attend. de Atent. 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 Attended. ¿Están seguros que ese es el, ver, el pasado de la ten? 100% sure that is attended? Yes. All right. Eric attended? And Jaime is like... <laughs> uh -huh. What kind of, usted dijeron training, so what kind of event did Eric attend? Did Eric attended to? Mm -hmm. a to? A training. A training, good job, perfect. Eric attended to a training, good job. What did the speaker use to provide examples, guys? Let's go up. What did the speaker use to provide examples? What did the speaker use to provide examples? The speaker used a computer for show examples. Good, okay. Let's repeat again. The speaker? The speaker provided a computer. You said used. Used. <laughs> used? Used that. Use it. Use that? Use a computer. A computer, right? To provide examples. All right. Very good. Now, uh, what did Eric, what did Eric, what did Eric not like about the event? What did Eric not like about the event? Acá como no está contractado el NAT está después, no porque podríamos decir what didn't Eric like about the event. ¿Qué es lo que no le gustó a Eric del evento, guys? What didn't Eric like about the event? We left very yeah, late. Didn't like. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, there Eric we go. Eric didn't did like. not like or didn't like. Ajá. Uh -huh. Um, um, este estructura no le hemos visto, pero podemos poner that. No me that gustó like. que I didn't like that. The speaker was late, right? No, or that they left late. 
Le play some mm -hmm. That they left late. Sí, they very late. Entonces, very guys, late. fíjense que este that que puse ahí, nunca lo hemos visto, pero ese that significa eh, Eric no le gustó que ellos se fueran tarde. That they left very late. Ok. Eric did not like that they left very late. O si no puede decir, Eric did not like that he was some minutes, that the speaker was some minutes late. Ok. Good, guys. Good, good, good. Sorry. Were you copying that? ¿Están copiando? Were you copying it? Of course. All right. Let's copy. Let's continue copying it. And then we will continue with the other thing. Ok. I will give you two more minutes to copy it. Did you finish, guys? Should I go to the next one? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, so let's see. We have this exercise right now. We have this exercise, write simple past questions using the verse and pronouns in parentheses, okay? Take terms asking the questions you wrote to your classmate. So let's answer this question, sorry. Let's uh, make the questions. With the simple pass, okay? Le, and then ask the question to the classmates. Vamos a hacer breakout rooms para esto. Van a hacer preguntas. Y luego la misma pregunta se la van a ir contestando. Okay? Entre ustedes. Tenemos hasta las nue hasta las 10 para hacerlo, guys. Solamente vamos a hacer ese último ejercicio. 
Ahorita les voy a mandar la, la, la foto del ejercicio que vamos a hacer. On the page. Sorry, let me go back. On the page 44. Ok, solamente van a hacer el ejercicio número 5. Write simple past questions using the verbs and the pronouns in parentheses. Van a usar el pronombre y el verbo que ya está dado acá. Ok. Luego se van a ir preguntando, valga la redundancia, las preguntas uno por uno. Con sus respectivas respuestas. Ok. Acuérdense que las respuestas van a ser con el verbo ya en pasado. All right. So, let me make the breaker rooms really quick. Let's see. Questions about these guys? No? No questions? Y en parlanchines estamos ahora. Sí, ya lo vi. Sorry, I'm assigning to you to the breaker rooms, guys. Okay, guys, Sabrina is the listener today. Creo que sí. Ok, click on join, guys, please. Denle en click on join. Oh, Mabel is a listener. Sorry, Mabel. Se me había olvidado, Mabel. Give me a second. Sabrina is here, no. Let me. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Ah, okay. Good Are evening. you a listener? <laughs> no. Hola. No está el listener, no. No, I, I can participate. Ah, okay. okay, okay. Me voy, me voy mm. integrando ahorita. Thank you, thank you. Jennifer, are you a listener today? Jennifer? Could you please click on join, Jennifer? Jennifer. Okay. Let's see them. Me los han dejado solo algunos, so voy a hacer tríos then. Let's see, Jonathan. Where is Jonathan? No, siete. Yes, yes. I'll repeat again. And Dixie. Dixie. Dixie attend the Judy conference. Okay, yeah, yes, of course. Yeah. 
the July conference. Hello, Lisette. Hello. Oh, Lisette. Oh, Lisette. Hello. Mm. There three. Number three. As Lisette, can you do the number three? Yes. Did did they stay in the meeting last night? Did they? Okay. Did yes? Did they stay? 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 Did they stay? Okay. Tight. Okay. Al did, did you meet your boss yesterday? And the last one, the next one is did she attend the Julie conference? Did they uh, stay in the meeting last night? Agreed, they did. Mm -hmm. Did he pass the test? Did you have fun at Christmas wow. party? Did number, huh? Num number seven? Did did? Van a hacer? Es decir, solo le van a poner el did y. Nos la vamos a preguntar entre nosotros y vamos a dar las respuestas de esas okay. ocho preguntas del ejercicio 5. Ok. Vamos una, una por una. Intercalándonos. Okay. Este, Christian, did you meet your boss yesterday? No, I didn't. Osbin, this did she attend? Living. Mm. Es solo la D se agrega al final. La D. Early. 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 Is he? Arrive. Esta es la D también, ¿verdad? La D, ¿verdad? Al final. Sí, right. A ver. Sorry, guys, right. to interrupt you. Con las preguntas, yo no le van a agregar la D ya. Ni le van a poner en pasado, porque ya está en el did, el auxiliary did. Pero en la respuesta. Para la respuesta, sí. Um, I W H question. No. Let's see. Si hacen WH question, sí, pero si hacen yes no question, solamente van a contestar yes I did, no I didn't, yes she did, no she didn't. Entonces en general no van a poner la ED, a menos no, que tengan la, la WH. Corta. Exacto, pero en las preguntas no se pone la ED, solo en afirmativas. Usted mm -hmm. solo dice, did you meet your boss yesterday? Did she attend the July conference? Did they stay? Si usted pregunta, WH? Aunque no creo que aquí haya una WH, ¿verdad? Solo son yes, no question. Solo son yes, no question. De hecho, ya lo vi. Mm -hmm. Como solo son yes, no question, no va a poner el affirmative en ID o el verbo en ID. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Solamente si usted respondiera una yes, una WS question con una formativa, ¿verdad? Where did you go yesterday? I went to the party. Ahí sí. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, Ay, de verdad no recordamos de cómo es pasar. Girls, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, we did. Did you, uh, did you um, ask questions and respond questions each other? 
No, teacher. No. Let's go ahead and practice on that. Well, we have just one minute, right? I will just finish reviewing the other uh, groups and we will go back to the main screen. But what we're doing, so let's ask the question and respond it. We respond them with yes, yes, I did, no, she didn't, etc. Okay? Okay. 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 And only, only number five. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, After yes, that, I, we solve I, I, the I, number six. I, I thinking is part and number six, and but, After but that, no, it's, it's number five. Only number five. Okay. 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 Sorry. It's only sorry, for practice. <laughs> you, <laughs> Don't you, worry. It's only okay. for practice. For example, I will, I will ask you the question number one. Ellie uh, said, you, the answer could be yes, I did or no, I didn't. Okay. Ellie uh, said, did you meet your boss yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay, Julius, did you, uh, okay, did she, did she attend the, the July conference? Yes. She she did. Excellent. Oh, or I not, mean. or not, uh, or not, she didn't. He, oh, he negative. Oh, or she, oh, she didn't. Oh, did that. Didn't. Okay, no, in negative. She didn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you. Hello, guys. Thank you for joining back. Thank you for joining back, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, since time is over, um, I would like someone to stay in the one-on-one session. Um, I just want to make sure. Lisa, could you stay with me today? In the one-on-one session? Yes. Thank you. Okay, guys. Tomorrow, we will continue practicing the previous activity, okay? The yes, no questions we did. All right. Mañana vamos a hacer un vamos a hacerlo todo y lo vamos a ir respondiendo. Don't worry, okay? Mañana vamos a revisar eso. Uh, and let's go to bed. All right, let's go to rest. I hope you have a, an amazing night. Tomorrow we will continue practicing this exercise, okay? Don't worry. And um, do you have any question by any chance before you go, guys? No, it's good. No. Okay. Thank you for your participation. I know Hi, you're guys. doing great. And okay. uh, I will go through the attendance list. Once I say your name, uh, you can log out. Okay. So have okay. a wonderful night, guys. Please stay until I say your name. Uh, let's see. Linda Magali Garcia Montoya. Luis Ernesto Gómez Garcia. Present teacher. Marcos Amilcar Mancia Gutierrez. Bye bye, Luis. Present teacher. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Bye bye. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Arazo. Bye bye. Present teacher. Bye bye. bye. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Osvin. Present, present teacher. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present okay. teacher. Good bye night. Bye. Good night. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández. Miss me. Present teacher. Thank you, Lizeth. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Good Thank night. You. Good night. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Cristian José López Pérez. Bye, Estefanía. Present. Bye, Cristian. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present, teacher. Bye, bye. Good night. Ezequiel, good night. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Good night. Bye bye, Jaime. Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. 
Present. Goodbye. Teacher. Goodbye. Jessica and Carmen Vasquez Vasquez. Present. Bye bye. Jonathan bye. Alexi Gonzalez Torres. Present. Goodbye. Goodbye. Julio Cesar Marino Gonzalez. Present. Bye bye. Shalom. Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo. Present, teacher. Bye bye, bye, -bye. Julio. Kenny Reset Cuer de Barrientos. Present, teacher. Bye -bye. Have a good night. Have a good night as well. Hello, Lisette. Good night. How are you? I can listen to you, Lisette. I'm fine, teacher. Great, Lisette. How are I'm you? doing great. Thank you for asking me. And thank you for staying. Um, I would like to ask you, Lisette, if you might be having any doubts, any any practice that you need for a topic that you're struggling, that you feel difficult, any reinforcement, any feedback, anything that I can help you for your learning process right now, Lisette? Um, I'm think in, in what the topic you can, you could help me, okay. but I don't know, I don't know which one. Really? It is because everything <laughs> is great. <laughs> uh, um, but... I can I can read uh, any example that I do in class when yes. when we go to the break rooms. Yeah, and that that would be great. Okay. Okay. Um. They. I don't know the that which one topic is this. All right. This sentence. But I I read. Okay. They are a singing a song in the scenery. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Um, yes, that is in present continuous, right? I think that yes. Mm -hmm. Um yes yes. Uh huh. What else um, do you have? I'm planning a big party for this weekend. I'm planning. I'm planning a big party. Uh, plan, planning is. Uh -huh. is planning. Planeando? I am planning. Yes. I'm planning. Okay. I'm planning. I'm planning big party for this weekend. And she is thinking in move another apartment. She's thinking in move. Uh, she's thinking about moving. She's thinking about moving to another department. Apartment, you said? Yes, it's okay. moving. Mm -hmm. About moving. Porque moving, porque después de una preposición y la preposición es about. I'm thinking about moving. Después de una preposición va un ing. Por eso le ponemos el moving. I'm thinking about moving. Okay. Quiere decir que está pensando en mudarse de apartamento, ¿verdad? Exacto. Uh -huh. okay. eh, this. The cat is what? Watching when the rat leaves of his house. Mm, the cat is watching. When? When the rat leave of his house. When the cat. When the rat, sorry, right? Yes. When the rat. Vamos a hacer esto. Leave. Left, right? Sería left. When the left. cat left his home, right? Or her. It's mm -hmm. home. It's home, porque es un animalito. It's home. When the rat left its home, the cat was watching. Ese se parece mucho a la que estábamos viendo. Ahora hay que identificar 
Lizeth, ¿cuál es la acción que es más progresiva que la otra? Quiero ver, when the, the cat was watching, when the rat left its home. Let's see, the cat watch. No, está bien. It's fine. The cat was watching when the rat left its home. Está súper bien. Porque acá, eh, cuando, usted, eh, cuando usted está viendo algo, observando, eso se toma más tiempo que cuando usted deja algo, ¿verdad? Cuando usted deja algo, la casa se va, es más rápido que la otra. Por eso la otra es, más, es progresiva. The cat was watching when the rat left its home. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Um, in the, the author is uh, the teacher is waiting for I doing my homework. Mm, and the teacher is waiting. Mm. For me, for me doing the homework, you said? The teacher is waiting for I doing my homework. Podemos decirlo de esta manera. The teacher is waiting. Is waiting me. Is waiting me to... Hi. Ahorita. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Podemos hacerlo como la siguiente. The teacher is waiting me. Is waiting for me. Sorry. The teacher is waiting for me to do the homework. Is waiting for me to do the homework. Ya le pongo I porque ocupé el mi, vea. Ajá, exacto. Okay. The teacher is waiting for me, sorry, to do the homework. Okay, and the last one. We are do a prime for the word. We are? Prime. Oh, we are prime for, for the job. For the... Mm, y ese, eh, por ejemplo, en este caso sería en el trabajo que usted ya tiene o en el trabajo que usted desea obtener. No, no. Eh, ah, pues no creo que no, no pronuncio bien. Mundo. <risa> Word. <risa> ah, perdón. Ajá, uh, uh -huh, exactly. It's, it's fine. It's for the world. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Um. Sam, I have, I have a, a, another, another sentence. Yes, tell me, what are they? Uh, the English coordinator does the interviews for new teachers. The English coordinator, and then? Does the interviews for new teachers. The new coordinator does the interview. Very good. Mm -hmm. For the new teachers. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. The cures of HR generalist do a lot of activities for the holiday, holiday, so like holidays, days. For holidays. For holidays. For holidays. But is in third person the generalist third is, person? No. Or is in plural? Uh, the girls. Yes. Oh, the girls. Oh, okay. So it says is yes. It's fine. It's fine then. The girls. Does 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 sorry. Uh, if you're talking about the girls in plural, then it's do. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Great. <laughs> but if you're talking about one girl, then it's that. Okay. And another is the, the supervisors 
have a meeting with the boss on Monday. Supervisors, right? Or sub one supervisor. Yes. Plural. Yes, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Okay. And yesterday I I I did the the sentences that you say, but I I lost the my page. I did in a page. Oh, but, okay. But, but you lost the the you lost yeah. the wait when, when you when page. when you attend the list. Mm -hmm. I when I, I go the to list. yes, I went to to share, but I didn't find. You oh. didn't find it. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't. I oh. didn't find it. Okay. Uh, well, I'm sorry to hear that, Lisa, but if you want to practice again, let's do them and you can send it to me so I can check them out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have them, right? You lost it. Yes, but, but I did. <laughs> okay, I know. Thank you very much for that, Lisa. Thank you for your okay. effort and, and, and thank you for reading those sentences for me. Sentence is very important, the feedback, the way that you're receiving it right now. And whenever you want me to check your sentences, send me a picture or send me a, um, um, yes, a photo about your sentence in order for me to correct them, okay? I will be more than happy okay. to help you. Lisette, other than that, do you have any question or any, any comment, anything else I can do for you? Um the I I am pro I have problem with the grammatic because I for I forget the the, the structure. The structure. I think, yes, I think that I in the past I told you. Yo creo que sí. mm -hmm. um, when the list started, I, I think that um, I'm good, I'm okay. okay. When the list, started. but with the grammatic, with the grammar, I will share with you today's presentation because I know there is there are some formulas in the presentation that we um studied today. So I will send that to you. And my recommendation will be that for the moment, Lisa, because you don't, I mean, it is it is a matter of, of memory, basically. And in my case, I'm bad at memory. So it was difficult for me as well at the beginning. And when, when what I did is that I had a page with all the formulas. Eso es lo que hacía yo, tenía una página de las fórmulas. Por ejemplo, ok, la fórmula del presente, simple present, fórmula del present continuum, fórmula de esto, lo otro. Entonces, ahí, ya cuando yo estaba practicando inglés o cuando yo estaba haciendo oraciones, yo me iba a la fórmula y ahí lo iba viendo y así me, me ayudaba mucho. Mediante fórmulas y teniendo como una paginita donde tuviera todas las fórmulas de todas las estructuras o al menos de los tiempos. Lo que puede hacer usted es recopilar, ¿verdad? Recopilar esas fórmulas o esas, estruct esas estructuras, ¿verdad? En una paginita y usted tenerlas ahí. Pasar la parte y tenerla. Y cada vez que usted sienta dudas, puede irse a la paginita y ahí puede ir viendo la fórmula. Mientras tanto, luego usted ya no va a tener necesidad de irla viendo, pero mientras tanto eso le puede ayudar muchísimo. Ok, teacher. Voy Thanks. a mandar el... You're welcome. I will send the, the presentation we had today. Um, we reviewed to it today, so you have this. También lo puede tener como una foto o como una screenshot de las presentaciones que... de la presentación que mandé ahorita. Okay, uh, acerca del past. O de otra, o de, digamos, si tiene alguna duda de alguna otra estructura o de algún otro tiempo, Puede buscarle esa imagen en internet y tener imágenes así, ¿verdad? Para no tenerlas copiadas. Ahí como usted le salga mejor. Lisa. 
Okay, teacher. Okay, Lisa. Well, it was a pleasure to talk to you and it was a pleasure uh, to help you. Uh, remember, you can count on me in case you need any feedback or any review of your sentences. Thank you for staying and thank you for your effort. I hope you have an amazing night, okay? Gracias, teacher. Igual usted. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Take care, Lisa. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.